guys, what's the crack? This is Gar, and this is a further sweltering day on this planet that I have now started to call home. Uh, we still don't have a name for it yet. Uh, keep putting in your suggestions, uh, and I will keep reading them with avid attention. Uh, we are climbing up this ladder a little bit because I've got yet more stuff to show you. Made big changes. Got rid of the old ship, harvested all the blocks. Expanded the base a little bit, I think, from what you know. Uh, moved some cobble down over there, put some stuff there. All my chests are there. There's some food that's been growing, water generation still going in there. We've got some dirt harvesting there. You, you know about that stuff. You won't know about this that I've built over here. A little bit of a platform to do a bit of harvesting, or at least I hope some harvesting. But for that, I will need some machines. And for that, the keen-eyed of you might have noticed that the big hole I was digging has now disappeared. So let's quickly come down to land. And voila. Cool, right? Yeah, I think so. So uh, this is basically just cobble with chisel and stuff. Uh, I was able to use some of the bone meal to dye some colored planks. Use the saw, use some concrete, use the chisel. Chisel, that's cobblestone as well. So all of it is really cheap materials. Um, but I think, you know, it makes a pretty good, pretty good space, pretty good basement. So, yeah, this is the thing I was most proud of. This took ages to do. I used a lot of these glowstone nooks, as you can see, and basically just placed them all down there. And that's what's supporting the dust above. I did that for a couple of reasons. One, I wanted, I like the idea of it being dust above, so you don't know it's here. Because I don't think my building is going to completely match the contours of this basement. And then number two, I also just liked it because, um, I, sorry, I also think I probably just, didn't go down one or maybe two levels deep enough so I couldn't have like just a regular old floor I could have done it with like panels or something but I kind of liked the light source anyway so I've also made this neat little staircase that I think looks really industrial and kind of how I want to keep it fitting using these factory blocks which is really cool and I've automated this pressure chamber a little bit better so it's really really simple I was able to use the um you can just see them there, the chamber in interfaces. In fact, actually, if I got my portal, because I remember this being one of the quests, and I'm not actually sure if I was able to, you know, use it. Okay, well, we'll anyway, we'll do these quests soon anyway. Because I did the chamber interfaces, which are really simple. All you basically do is you can pipe stuff in with pipes or hoppers or things. And so anything I want to get changed into plastic, for example, in fact, I just actually got some of this stuff. So you'll see it go in there, or at least it should go in here. Shouldn't it? There we go. The door closes to escape, let not pressure not go out, and then it goes in, and you'll be able to see it down here. It instantly turned to plastic, and I've actually set it down here to be a filter to suck out anything that begins with the name plastic. So I'm not sure why that's not sucking out. Oh, it's because it's not got a power. But yeah, it needs a lever. Uh, do I have anything on me that can make a lever? No, nope. what I'll do is just quickly borrow this one. I, I can't, I'm not sure where I must have. Oh, I remember what it was. Yeah, it's because I had this on somewhere else and then I borrowed the one from down here to put up there, but that's fine. Um, there we go. We should get more black plastic and then blue plastic coming in here, I hope. There's the black, and there's the blue. Awesome, isn't that isn't that nifty? So we've got quite a lot of plastics in here. So um, going to be automating this all pretty soon. This is keeping the pressure reasonably well. Um, I think it's not perfect. I think this sometimes lets out a little bit of pressure, but it's a lot better than mining the block away, which is really nifty. And it didn't take much to get there, because especially because of the, some some of the stuff I was able to like harvest from the city. So uh, we are you know, going to die of thirst soon, but anyway, we are planning on. I'm planning on doing a cool design. Actually, let me just show you what we've got here. That's the rest of the other stuff, so including some of these transistors, blah, 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 blah. Uh, one of every seed, I think one of every seed, just to be on the safe side. The propulsion helmet, which has got no upgrades on whatsoever at the moment, but that's cool. Some spare bullshit. <laughs> so, cool, cool things. Cool, cool things all together. And over here is just a quick thing where I had some dust whenever I was digging out, which is all very neat and tidy. So let me quickly go over and show you this little thing, which I'm planning on making a centerpiece of the garden. Here's just a little space underneath where I'm planning on doing some maintenance stuff. Here's a little 3x3 three three patch of dirt and this should all become a bit clearer later. And here's a little patch of dirt which is sort of 12 dirt 
things all a little bit clear all a little bit further around so this should all become a bit clearer later um, yeah I can probably get rid of that because I'm going to put something there anyway so should we reuse this shall I put this somewhere maybe can I uh, it's kind of, it would be asymmetrical otherwise wouldn't it do I have my saw on me no screw it goodbye peace oh Oh, that was annoying. Um, so let's go back, and I can quickly show you other stuff I've collected and, excuse me, various things. And one of the food sources I've been dealing with a little bit lately because it's pretty tasty and pretty good, actually, as well. It, like, keeping me reasonably filled up. So we got quite a bit of eggs because I was able to get my chickens into a little hopper, which is really neat. Um, also built myself one of these bad boys, which is a presser because I am now using tofu come on which you'll see I can get from pressing soybeans into both soy milk and silken tofu which is really really neat because I can use both of these pretty well I think that's how I'm make, making butter but one of the things I'm doing more often is I'm making I think what is it that I need to finish this up I think it's an onion, isn't it? An onion and a bowl. So I think the bowl's in here from when I was making some salad. Really want to get my chicken, uh, not ch chicken, my kitchen on the go. But we can use some onion to get some fried rice. And fried rice is amazing, guys. Look how much it fills me up. It's really, really good. I'm actually just going to quickly grab some bone meal if I have it somewhere. I know I'll have some downstairs, so let's just quickly grab some downstairs. So I want to just get quite a bit of bone meal. Oh, here's my golem, um, my high golem. I'm not sure why he's down here. He must have fallen through. But anyway, uh, let's get the bone meal from here. And yeah, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good on resources. Uh, still got this thing down here, not connected it up. This, this is the, uh, this, this all feels very temporary. I can't wait to build my new base. But I'm not sure what I'm going to build it out of. I don't have much by way of, you know, stuff harvested from the spaceship. It's not big, but factory blocks aren't too expensive oh that's not what i meant to do oh maybe i can't craft them can i i thought i could maybe i just can't craft that one factory blocks yeah they're not too expensive so um especially since i've got quite a bit of resources so i will show you soon how well, what i do have let's just put this back because i'd like to do something pretty cool i harvested a bit of that for that space too so all in all doing all right Ooh, that's actually interesting too, because that looks pretty good. We've got a we've got a supply of squids too. Here's my new Minecraft stuff, all doing pretty well. I think you've seen all this bullshit. What was I doing again? Oh yes, I was bone mealing up some onions, just because I've only got three here, um, and I'd like to get a little bit of supply of them because fried rice is amazingly good. Like just a little more, sixteen would be a nice round number, wouldn't it? Well, it's not a round number, but it's a nice uh, sort of Minecrafty number. It's it's, good. it's uh, Minecraft appropriate given the way stacks and stuff like that work. So here we go. I think get another two fried rice, and that'll be good for the future. So really want to get a kitchen on the go. So that's pretty neat and awesome. Soon, uh, I actually want to start digging up. Do I want to dig that up yet? I think I do actually because um, I want to start. I, what I want, guys, is a renewable, or at least a pretty renewable source of um, leaves and water. So, like, autom automated stuff I don't have to, like, do myself. So, that's what that platform over there will be used for. So, let me get some stuff together. And actually, I'm just going to go sleep, and we'll be right back. Okay, morning time. Got my dirt. Going to fill up some water, actually. I would really like a way of filling this up automatically without having to come over here, but I'm not really sure if that's going to be entirely possible. I'm sure it will be. I mean, I can always just, you know, have further pipes and stuff, but what I mean more about that is not even have to worry about manually filling up my camel pack. But anyway, uh, got some shears, that's cool. We might do a bit of shearing, but let's also get some of this dirt. Because um, I want a garden. I want a garden, and I want a farm, and I want... One of every tree, one of every plant, all that sort of good stuff. So, my plan right now is to 
Do we do one more cycle? No. We go over and we start crafting because I want to show you what I want to craft. It should be pretty obvious by now what I want to craft. So let's just take, I think, this one. Actually, let's just take the actual leaves. You don't need to take everything. Yeah, that should be fine. And whilst we're here, let's just see if we've got any more of these that we can harvest. No. And I think we don't need to, you know, get our bone meal and do that at the moment. We are going to... Let me just show you my plan, my rough plan. Oh, hello. Need to get that out of the way. My rough plan is... I'd like to use my elevators as well to make a bit of a faster uptake of... Not uptake, faster upgoing. Up, faster upgoing this. <laughs> my plan is to have two harvester planter combos. Now, one will work in a 3x3 three three space to get saplings, to get a renewable source of saplings. And the other will work here and be leaves. Now, there might be a more efficient way of doing this. I tried having like a two harvesters on the same sort of patch doing both saplings and leaves but I find that just too inconsistent and sometimes you get loads of leaves and you might actually get net loss of saplings and then you'd run out and then you'd be screwed so whilst it's going to be a bit more expensive because for each harvester we're going to need two machine frames which is each going to require two printed circuit boards so we're going to need that and then for each planter it's the same thing it's going to be machine frames I still think it's the best way to go about it. So we're going to need a way of getting in for an Electrum too, but that's not too bad. So let's go down and try and get enough for four printed circuit boards. Now, honest, oh God, I think I've got enough of them left. That means I'm going to need three of those jobbies. Now, four of those jobbies. I think I've got at least four of them. Otherwise, I'm going to have to set up that business with the whole, with the unassembled things. Oh, good. Thank God. Because I would not, I'm nowhere near, I don't even know how that works. Assembly platform, I, don't, I have no idea how this works. I'm presuming you, you put them all in the one thing, but how, we've got, oh, we've got three IO units and one assembly platform and an assembly drill. So, you know, my, you know, we're not, we need two units and a laser and we have a drill and an IO unit. So what's the laser consist of? That's not too bad, actually. So we might be able to do it not, not too far in the future. But anyway, nowhere near right now, I don't think. So we are going to make... So we need one, two, three. We need three transistors and three capacitors per printed circuit board. And we need four. So we're going to need 12 of each of those. Now, we've got two and six. Okay, so let's get 12 of these guys. And let's look at what's the recipe. So it's a, a compressed iron and a redstone for each one. Okay, so we got 12 and 6. So we got 2. So we need another 4 plastic. And then the compressed iron and redstone for each. So let me go and get that stuff together, actually, guys. And I'll be right back. Ah, I have to fly over the carcasses of my nemesis. Ooh, and towards the body of a spider. <laughs> Not so good, but I think I'll be able to get in just in time. And he shouldn't be able to follow me because he's probably too big. Okay, so I've brought both a lever to be able to help with uh, that sort of the nonsense. And also some coal that should be able to bring the pressure up. Once it's a 2.1, then I'll know. Come on. Come on. I still don't understand that. Why is that not working? For some reason, the iron isn't going in that time. Okay, it is, but... Right, whatever. I'm just going to let it do like that. And it's probably going to be too much. Hopefully, it'll stay above two. It doesn't really matter too much if it doesn't. I've got a decent amount of compressed iron. I need to get a few more of these seeds. So, I'm just going to quickly... Um, hijack. That should be enough, shouldn't it? That's just whatever. Let's put it like that. And I'm going to go get some more coal or charcoal or something of that ilk. And some redstone and stuff out there. Because I can't believe I didn't actually bring any of that stuff. <laughs> Filter. Does, does Lewis know that this oh is Twitter? Oh my god. Oh my god. More <laughs> do, do you think voices? he thinks he's contact? <sighs> Sorry guys. I just needed to quickly collect my thoughts. Because 
I was being terrified by by what I was hearing. Uh, voices are scary at the best of times, let alone with what's happening. This is just pumping in all that iron. Iron. At least it's pumping it in. I don't really care. It's letting out a lot of. Why is it not going in this time? Oh, it is okay. Right, right. Let's try. Let's try something. Let's just try. Make it at like twelve. See what. See what happens. See. See if twelve goes in. Come on. Come along. Okay, two went in there, but that's fine because I think it pulled it out from. Now twelve's in the pipe. Come on. So slow these pipes, aren't they? Oh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's all in there and none of it is becoming compressed iron because it's too too little pressure. So let's go and fix all of that. And whilst I craft up some more charcoal, I think it's appropriate to only have something that I'm having IRL, which is a nice little cup of tea. I'm just going to come over here and see how I, um, this has been getting on. Uh, oh, also, yes, good. These are all finished. That's nice. I used some of them already, but uh, it's nice to see that they're all done. I can't remember where I put my charcoal. I've got a feeling it's in one of these chests or something. Maybe this one? No. Oh, by the way, look what else we get from this. We get a bunch of slag. So that's pretty cool. Uh, charcoal, charcoal, charcoal. Where have I put you? Charcoal, charcoal, charcoal. Seared bricks, you are not. Uh, five. Okay, that's fine. I will take that. And I will just... No make some charcoal with it which is pretty good and i'll just put this stone over here and redstone 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 uh redstone i've put here yes yes okay so let's just get a couple of blocks or something um do I have any charcoal in any of the other heat sources? I don't. But look at all these seeds that I haven't even got growing. I cannot wait to like actually have a fully fledged farm. It's gonna be really cool. Let's do a little bit of let's do a little bit more cooking, I think, whilst we're waiting for that to cook up. So silken tofu and soy milk I will put in here. And let's let's use let's use some soy milk, right? Okay, so some, we could make some ch cheese with it, and that would be an interesting ingredient. Um, we need to get cocoa powder, but I've got an idea about how to do that soon. That was not exactly my immediate priority. Some beet soup. Let, uh, no, let's make some cheese with it. So that's just going to be salt and a pot. Pretty straightforward. So there we go. Did I bring the soy milk with me? No, but luckily it's here, so that's not too bad. Put this in here. Salt, pot, tons of cheese. And let's see what we can make with this cheese. Okay, we can make a grilled cheese. That'd be pretty tasty. Got some butter. Yeah, I think I will make I think I will make a grilled cheese actually. Yeah, let's make a grilled cheese. So we got some wheat, don't we? I think we have wheat. There it is. Okay, let's I don't know, make a multi nice multiple of three. Can I make twenty-seven? can and you can make 27 uh let's put the pot and stuff here it'd be nice if you could have like a chest either side and then therefore like have two separate in inventories but unfortunately that doesn't seem to be what works I have a quick furnace um anything i can use as stuff i cannot so there we go two pieces of coal charcoal one will be more or less wasted but hey there's worse there's worse things in life. There's worse things in life. In fact, actually, you know what? Let's put um another two in there and that way we'll get all of that. It turned into charcoal, I think, if my calculations are correct. So, uh grilled cheese would be I think it's that, that, butter and a skillet. That's a saucepan. Where's my skillet? I think I used it to make the fried rice. Good stuff. Hearty grilled cheese meal. Awesome. Amazing. Let's make a few more. Um, what am I waiting on again? It's the bread. Good, good, good. Or the toast, rather. Another thing I'm going to do I th while I'm here is get some of the Electrum and Invar on the go. 
Now I've got a reasonable amount of Invar, so I should be alright for Invar, but the Electrum is going to require some silver and gold. So I would say I'm going to guess I'm going to need, let's say, three blocks of each. And I am going to quickly put both of them in here. And hopefully there'll be enough lava to cook them down, which I think there is, which would be good. And I'll be get a decent amount of Electrum too, which would be really, really neat. So Actually, is this silver as well? It is. <laughs> Funny how things work out. That's ominous. But I have to say, you know what? It's so nice that, like, you just don't get creeper damage in this. I mean, I guess in in general it's, like, a bad thing on balance if, if like, you know, there's no threat. But I don't know. I don't mind it at all. Is there anything else? I've got a multiple of nine ingots of that I can turn into a block. There's not. Good. That's fine. Silver can go in there. So, we're doing really well here, guys. So, got the gold, the iron and stuff. That's all smelting away. That's that's doing neat. Got the redstone in there. Let's take the invar with us. And let's turn this into bars just for the sake of it. I think that'll be enough. I think that'll be enough. Uh, um, also, there's the electrum. Awesome. Wow, that, did, that didn't take long to craft at all. Um, and I'll just start making this as well. I won't, I won't automate it. I won't automate it, so I'm just going to make a ton of Electrum, and I'll be back shortly.